Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Yesterday, we did a real exciting Underwater Wednesday episode about the brand new Core Tackle Swim Jig. And we, boy, if you haven't seen it, go back and check out that episode. It's a sweet looking swim jig, brand new for a classic release uh, from Core Tackle. But today, it got me thinking about what trailers do we put on the back of our swim jigs? And I kind of look at it like there are three different options. I'm not sure everybody looks at it the same way I do. So today we're going to kind of go off on a little tangent with the swim jig and talk about what trailers you put on the back of your swim jig. Stick around, guys. We'll kind of get into the three different looks that I want to give my swim jig. Welcome back to MFO, everybody. I am Mark Fisher, and we're talking about swim jig trailers today. Before I get into that, like always, I would appreciate it if you would hit the uh, subscribe button. We would really appreciate that. You support the channel that way. Use MFO10 discount at fishinggurus.com if you can. Again, another way to, sub uh, to support the channel. And please tell your friends, share our videos with people. We're trying to grow the channel. Thank you so much. That means a lot to Megan and I, and we, we appreciate your support. Let's talk about these swim jig trailers. So I've got a couple of different things. Some are not going to be different ways of looking at this. I think you're going to kind of already know. So I've got a swim jig here. I think this is a Dirty Jigs swim jig. And what we've got behind that is just a boot tail. Uh, this is a little dipper and kind of rig that up. So you got that boot tail action behind your swim jig. Makes sense, and I think a lot of guys do that. Uh, and and that, that would be my probably 70% of the time that's what I'm running on a swim jig is a, a little boot tail. Could be a Kitek, could be a, a little dipper, even a big dipper. Um, a lot of times, and let's see, I did, did pull this, I didn't even see. On the Little Dippers, I've got it rigged all the way up because the Little Dipper gives me that. If it's a Big Dipper, what I'll typically do is give that Big Dipper a cut and I'll just rig the body part up to it. That I'll cut that head off on a Big Dipper, on a Skinny Dipper and slide that all the way up. Uh, when I do cut it, by the way, I do cut it on an angle so that it slides in there and it doesn't... It, it swims nice using that uh, skinny dipper on there. All right, uh, so boot tail, number one. The next trailer that I will put, and again, this, we were just talking about this with me and a couple guys the other day. They were talking about how they swim and jig on Lake Geneva, ticking the tops of grass and swimming, the, using a swim jig to do that. And in that situation, they'll use any number of different kind of cross style trailers. And they will rig those cross style trailers much the same as you would if you were throwing a, a standard jig. In other words, they'll rig them so that the, as the bait is swimming, those cross are flapping kind of, uh, I would get, I guess that's horizontally. Now, when, as that, jig as that swim jig is swimming across and ticking the grass and things like that with those craw tails that's what you're doing you're imitating a crayfish that is kind of scooting in the weeds over the top of the weeds and that's that's the look that you're trying to get so you can throw a swim jig with a crayfish kind of trailer that's rigged horizontally. This, uh, and again, I don't do that very often, but I know a lot of guys who do swim a jig using crayfish trailers. So the third approach that I will take to my swim jig trailers is taking a beaver style bait and instead of rigging it horizontally, I'll rig it vertically to my swim jig. In other words, as I think you can see that there. 
when I've got my swim jig right now, this is the bottom of my swim jig that's facing you. And the top of the swim jig is facing me. And you can see that my beaver style bait is forming a tail, which means that when my swim jig is swimming, it gives me this kind my 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 swim jig is here. This is the body of my swim jig. And this is the tail. It does kind of imitate. I've got a real good bluegill looking kind of a bait there where my the tails on the beaver style bait kind of give that imitation of a bluegill tail. This, I like to throw this especially when in the, you know, in the later spring when the bluegills are bedding and things like this, this bait right here. And I mean, this is the exact bait, bluegill swim jig and a, and a beaver style trailer rigged vertically is the bait that I like to throw. And I think that this swim jig imitates a nice little bluegill swimming around bluegill beds and things like that. So this is a third way of rigging up a trailer on my swim jigs that I really, really like. So again, when you're looking at swim jig trailers, you're looking at boot tail, you're looking at a craw tail kind of a, a trailer, or potentially even a beaver style bait rigged vertically. I'd love to hear your ideas about other, other trailers that you use in back of a swim jig, guys. If you could send those in with your comments, we could talk about those and get some other ideas as well. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow. One last episode to go in the week before we head off to Classic Weekend uh, in Oklahoma. Take care, everybody.